Today I'm going to show you how to put this diamond stitched quilted roof lining in an MX-5 hardtop. Yes, so instead of playing with my MX-5 today, we're going to play with an MX-5 today. And we're going to see if I can add this quilted style, well it's not real leather, it's some sort of fake plasticky leather. But yeah, a quilted style leather onto my hardtop, which is right here. This is an OEM style hardtop, but it's not a factory one. It's a um, aftermarket fiberglass unit, but it's the, the factory hardtop shape, which seems like the perfect place for some headlining. At the moment, it's just black fiberglass. I'm thinking this quilted stuff will work perfect. You can purchase hardtop roof lining as far as I'm aware online, but it's not cheap. Hence why we're going to try and DIY it. This was about 50 bucks online from somewhere in China. And it's actually a boot lining for a BMW, but I'm going to make it a roof lining for my MX-5. Let me show you what I'm thinking. I haven't thought that far ahead, to be honest. So first things first, this is our quilted style leatheriness. It's um, sort of slightly padded, got a red stitch, diamond shape. You know, it's cute. It's not everyone's taste, but I don't mind it. The folds are because it came all squished up in packaging from overseas. And this is my hard top. Now it's a not a factory hard top, but this process should work for any hard top, including the factory ones. This is a fiberglass one. I'm just lying it down now. And the reason I think it's going to work really well is you can see there's this almost rectangular shape in the top of it here. It just has a few divots around the brackets for the hard top while well, the uh, permanent catches or latches. Uh, with, yeah, almost a perfect rectangle. Seems like an easily achievable thing. Cut this out into that shape, somehow glue it on there, bam, quilted lining. So that's the general idea. I think you catch the gist of what I'm trying to achieve here. Basically cut this quilted stuff out into some sort of a rectangle to match that. I don't exactly have a solution on how to cut the perfect shape yet, so I've got to find some sort of way to make a nice little template. Um, also, this has a sort of a piped edge. I haven't worked out how I'll replicate that. Maybe I won't. It might just be a rough edge at least for the short term. And I also haven't worked out exactly how I want to glue this down. I'm assuming that gluing it is the right solution. Perhaps some sort of construction adhesive or I don't know. There's probably some sort of fabric glue or the glue they use to glue headliners to cars. Obviously that would be a solution. I haven't got any of those here so we're going to have to be a bit uh, ingenuitive. Is that the right word? Sure, let's go with that. So progress so far, cardboard template, that worked out well. That was not too bad and the shape wasn't too hard to achieve. A few little bits and pieces with some curves there, but you know, not too bad. Uh, translating it over to the quilted boot slash roof liner. Went okay, except that I uh, unfortunately miscalculated the size and we've got some slight daggy bits, unfortunately. Not the end of the world. I think I can persist with it. If you really wanted to, if you wanted something perfect, just get a slightly bigger car's boot, a larger sedan, Audi A6, Holden Commodore. Um, I'm not sure what they make over in the US. There's lots of things over there that have got a big boot. So just pick something bigger than a two series BMW and you should be sorted. Nonetheless, it's cut out okay. Now in terms of the edges, you can see the, or you could see the exposed foam and it was very white. So I just hit it with some uh, vinyl, black vinyl dye, and that seems to have hidden that, which I think should be sufficient that you're not going to see it. Now, let's be honest, this is going to be on the roof above your head. It, it's going to be dark because it's inside the car. So 
imperfections aren't really going to be too noticeable and it's no show car so i'm not too worried if it's not perfect that said if it was a slightly bigger boot um floor mat then i will boot mat then i wouldn't have the dodgy edges and i'll probably be a little bit more worried about it um also we've got the creases in it i'm thinking of leaving it out in the sun tomorrow for a little bit and seeing if the heat kind of evens those out we'll see what happens um and don't forget one thing that was useful was having um your mum's underpants on the floor to protect the hard top from getting scratched up that's where i'm at I need to go get some glue now. I don't have anything that'll really glue this properly. I've got some low tack um, spray adhesive, but it's not good enough for this. So I'm gonna to go to the shop and get some proper adhesive and we'll check back in then when we glue this thing on. Rightio, went to the shop, got some contact adhesive and laid the roof down here with the mat. Uh, did end up putting this in the sun for a little bit. It didn't remove the creases, unfortunately, but it did make it sort of soft. So anyway, um, thrown down my cardboard template here as a bit of a glue protection for the bench top. I guess it's glue time. Uh, so like most of these glues, they usually say paint each side, then give them a moment to kind of tack and then stick them together. So coat both sides, wait until touch dry within about three to five minutes, and then bring them together with strong, even pressure. So I'm gonna flip this over here. It's quite a big surface to paint in three to five minutes. So we'll see how we go. Probably just pour it on. Yeah, let's just pour it on. Something like that. We can be pretty gloopy with our application and we just need a nice clean edge. Oh, she's wafty. This stuff has got some stank to it. Yeah, we just need a clean edge around the outsides. That's the bit that's most important because we don't want it kind of peeling up. Um, I'll do another one of these like that. I don't know how well this is going to glue. So it's all a bit of a mystery, a bit of a uh, experiment. Um, the glue says it'll do something like three meters squared. This is maybe one, one and a half. Don't know. Um, maybe a, maybe a meter square. So you think we'd get more out of the thing, but I've already used half the jug. So maybe it's a, um, heavily absorbent kind of application. Depends on the type of products you can't try and glue together. And I'm applying it pretty, perhaps a bit too much, a bit too liberally, but anyway. Okay, that's enough waiting, I think, hopefully. We've got the quilted liner here. We'll just flip it over onto here. Um, of course, the tricky bit is getting it all sort of lined up because as far as I'm aware, once this stuff sticks to itself, as in the other part, they're hard to separate. So we kind of got to get this pretty accurate. First go. And that's not too bad. It's going down about the right spot. Now we want to apply fairly heavy pressure to really get it to stick to itself. So the roof's gonna wobble around. Don't worry, still got your mum's undies here to keep my roof protected from scratching itself. Now, if any of you are curious, this is the contact adhesive I used, Sika, band, Sika brand uh, contact fix. Sika Bond 105 it says, um, and this is the vinyl die I used around the edges of the roof lining. 
Um, so now this stuff pretty much, it's kind of set. It doesn't really need a long time to, to, to cure. Once the two surfaces touch, that's kind of it. Um, and this can's kind of done. Once you've used it, it's unlikely to last much longer in the can open. But anyway, there's a little bit in there. Maybe I'll keep it for one day, but there's a very good chance it'll kind of go gloopy and I'll just have to throw the rest of the tin. Probably used a little over maybe two thirds of the tin of a 500 mil can. So there you go. Um, plenty more of this stuff to go. So this I've used for multiple jobs. We'll keep a hold of that for the future. Time to stick that roof in the car. So here's our hard top roof lining. One last shot before I stick it in. Um, all in all, actually the exposed edge isn't a problem around the kind of the three side and back edges, but the front edge, it is uh, visible, but the other ones it's actually not. So that's pretty good. Um, it hasn't stuck down quite as well as I'd hoped in the middle there. So maybe I didn't get enough glue through that middle piece. Anyway, all another excuse to redo it with a piece of quilting that actually fits, but let's stick the thing on. I want to see how it looks. Okay, you'll have to excuse me being all washed out. I've wound up the brightness so you can kind of see what's going on here. Overall, I'll be the first to say it ain't perfect, but I guess I'm pretty happy with the, the concept. Not the best result, but it, it's, it's okay. Um, the crease down the middle kind of disappoints me quite a bit and that's the material I sourced. Maybe you can find something that's a bit better than this that doesn't come all folded up. Uh, that was the best I could find. Um, the glue worked fine. I noticed online when you buy the, the kind of the kits that you can get for these, they tend to come with just like adhesive Velcro pads. I don't know how well that would stick to this roof. Maybe it would stick, but uh, we shall see. In terms of the kind of edging and the cut, that worked out really well. The cardboard template was kind of spot on, but hey, that's because I made it. Uh, no. And the, the, the way it lines up with the back edge is really nice. Um, the, yeah, the crease down the middle kind of kills it the most, but it gives it a nice feel, feel kind of a coziness to it, removes some of the drum out of the roof. So maybe you'll have a little bit less road noise in here, uh, but overall, yeah, it's cool. It gives a bit more character and flavor in the car and it removes the ugly um, kind of chop mat, hard top um, the fiberglass, because this is not a factory roof, it removes that chop mat fiberglass look that was there gives it something a bit nicer maybe I'd redo it one day if this starts to fall away or it doesn't work out or I'm kind of get sick of it I'll um I'll find some replacement stuff that isn't as ugly as as this in terms of the uh, the crease down the middle and obviously the fact that I have a slightly dodgy edge here look regardless I think you've get the idea you could probably take what I've done here and perhaps do a slightly better job. Right in from the future and we're about to go out for a drive in the car and uh, I thought I'd let you know that it's holding up really well. The roof looks great. The creases have uh, reduced actually with time. You can still see this horizontal one still there, but it's not as bad as it was. Um, it's just sort of a little bit kind of bubbly. Uh, and then otherwise the roof is looking really good. Um, it's holding up well, it's stuck up okay. The piece that was sort of not sticking in the middle, I guess, was just just needed a bit more pressing. So I pushed it a bit more and now it's stuck and uh, it's holding up good. The, the lines that were going this way, because there were folds in both directions, they're pretty much gone. And this guy wants to go. So back to me in the past. Now, as I say, about 50 bucks for this. I think online, if you're gonna go and buy one of these, the Nakame ones or whatever they, that brand is from Japan there, I don't know if they make them anymore, many hundreds of dollars. Um, and I think, you know, the people who ripped those guys off, what are they called, Carbon Miata or something, they, they started making something similar and it's maybe 150 US dollars. This was maybe 50 bucks. So, you know, give or take, I suppose. The, Depends how much you want to invest in doing it yourself versus just paying a company kind of to buy the product off them. I like the challenge of doing these things. Get to make a video for it. Gives you ideas. Yeah, 
yeah. Let me know if you enjoyed. Let me know what you think I could do better or what I should have done. And um, obviously leave that down below in the comments so other people can see it. Maybe they can learn from my mistakes as well as you can teach them how to do it better than I did. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.